the aborted babies and they were grafting them onto lab rats and lab mice to see how much longer they could keep them growing for and you can actually see the photographs in the published study of little baby scalps grafted onto the backs of lab rats growing little baby hairs those would have been the little hairs growing on the heads of little infants in Pittsburgh if they hadn't been killed by abortion and then stitched onto lab rats for experimentation this study was funded by a grant by multiple grants from the NIAID office which is run by Dr. Anthony Fauci and when I was undercover Planned Parenthood abortion providers told me that they were the ones who were supplying the aborted baby body parts for experiments at the University of Pittsburgh. It's one of those stories we almost hesitated uh, to do because it is so grotesque, uh, but it seemed like in the public interest to tell the truth about what's, about what's happening. Has, has Fauci Absolutely. accounted for this? No, and Dr. Anthony Fauci owns every bit of this study because as the head of, and, and owns every bit of this issue because as the head of the NIAID office, the buck stops with him in terms of how those grants are spent, whether they're being monitored and um, made sure that they're ethically and legally and just compliant as far as good stewardship of taxpayer money. The fact that they were using scalps from five-month-old aborted babies, that means that the heads of those children probably needed to be intact in order to get the scalps, which is in indication that those are either partial birth abortion or even infants delivered alive and whole. Did anybody at Dr. Fauci's office ever ask the researchers at Pittsburgh, hey, how are you getting those scalps? How are you getting whole scalps from the heads of, of fetuses without a partial birth abortion? I think that Dr. Fauci should be brought in front of the Senator in front of the United States Congress and ask those questions directly about what his office did to make sure that these grants and that these barbaric experiments were in compliance with, uh, with all the applicable...